Just before we explore Nakon Sawan, behind me is Dreamy. Now, in the last video, she died. She was a goner, and I left a little bit of a cliffhanger because I didn't know what was going to happen. It took four days, but she's back in action. And so, just before we explore Nakon Sawan, if you're interested, there's a short segment here of the exact reason what happened to Dreamy, how did she die, how did we resurrect her, and I'll let you know as well that this is a few days in advance and she's already broken down three times more since then, okay? We are in a few more provinces north. You'll see this unfold. She's definitely the tantrum queen and she has a lot more toys to throw out the pram in the future and definitely throughout the rest of this trip. So anyway, enough rambling. Let me explain to you what happened to Dreamy and how we fixed her and then we are gonna explore the beautiful province of Nakon Sawan. Behave yourself, Dreamy. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Okay, so behind me is Dreamy and um, the engineer, the mechanic I should say, has worked out what the issue is and through a lot of Google Translate text conversations we've isolated or I've learned what the isolation problem was. So what happened at some point during my 600 kilometer drive from the south to Chia Nat a couple of days ago now, I had an oil leak unbeknownst to me and um, the oil completely dried out. However, the engine kept working for a while, right? It worked about an extra day. However, because there was no oil in the engine, it blew up the piston head. This is the piston head. And um, holding it, you can see a lot of damage to it. Um, and uh, it's bent and it's it seems to have exploded and damaged it completely, catastrophically and this is deep within the engine and a 27 year old Honda Dream piston head is not the easiest of part to replace and repair in the middle of nowhere. Maybe this would be a, like a, a one day thing um, in Bangkok. However here, in the middle of Thailand, in the middle of nowhere, on the side of the highway, at this random mechanic shop, it's taken three days. There's also other engine parts that have broken surrounding this piston head. Multiple p engine parts have snapped, have broken, and are completely messed up. He's adding some oil into that. He's sourced all the parts, and uh, he says he's still not finished. He still needs another day. He says tomorrow morning he's going to work through the night. Not all night, but he's going to work till quite late tonight and finish it early in the morning so that I can leave. I am going to be paying him extra, whatever he charges me, um, unless it's completely over the top expensive. I will give him a nice tip because we've been here three days, tomorrow will be four days and the trip needs to continue and I really want Dreamy to survive. I did think she was a goner, especially when I found out about the piston head situation and loads of engine parts scattered on the floor. I mean, there's so many scratches inside this thing. This is completely messed up, man. And uh, my man here, he helped me so much. He's the guy who rescued me on the first time. So Dream, Dreamy's looking a bit naked, so don't look at her. And um, I'll let her get fixed and hopefully tomorrow morning, she's ready to roll. Hello and welcome to downtown Nakhon Sawan. Now behind me over here, that is the Nan River. Obviously it comes through the province of Nan. It branches out from the Mekong on the border of Laos. And behind me in this direction is the Ping River, which flows through Chiang Mai all the way down through central Thailand to here. And the Nan and the Ping combine together right here into the Chao Payao, I got that wrong, bollocks to start the source of the Chao Praya River, which is the giant, huge river that flows all the way to the ocean and obviously through Bangkok. And this is the source of it right here. Let's go down and let's um, dip our little toe. There we go. And actually here on this side, oh, yep, yeah, okay. Now we can walk. We are now on the Ping River. <laughs> and then we come over this side. Oh. The Nan River, the Nan River's flooding. The path is covered in water. There must be more water coming down from Nan province compared to 
ping and I think that's actually because according to the news there are lots of storms in the east and north of Thailand and you can actually see that this river is swelling compared to the, the ping but then they combine and go straight down to the Chao Phraya and they've built this really interesting structure which we'll check out now to commemorate the source of the river and to commemorate the joining of the two rivers to join into the Chao Phraya and uh, looks kind of interesting so let's go take a closer look So inside you can see that it's all made of wood and yeah, I've not been in an interactive art piece like this. It's almost like a sculpture that you can climb on, explore, you can hear kids up the top I think. This would be a fun place to come with the family and just see the expression and the design that's gone into this. Looking at it from the drone footage I can't tell what they're basing the design on but it kind of from some angles looks like a baleen whale but now that I'm in yeah I mean I kind of feel like I'm inside a baleen whale's mouth because you know the um what do they call the teeth in a baleen whale I think they're called baleens <laughs> I think that's why they're called baleen whales I'm not sure but the um these metal bars that come along and go along the the entire innards kind of feels like the the mouth of Moby Dick right and uh, no Moby Dick is a sperm whale damn it um anyway you, you know what I'm talking about right and then, you know, now we've been swallowed, we're going into the belly. <laughs> and we're going to get pooped out on the other side. And let's go left. So yeah, this is fun. A nice interactive sculpture, a nice thought-provoking art piece, which is rare to find and something I wasn't expecting to see in a province of Nakhon Sawan. Actually, at the top here, you can walk onto the top and uh, oh there is actually yeah there's an entrance at the top here almost like going into the the blowhole it seems like a thai family's been eaten <laughs> we're all being swallowed by the whale and we're in the in the head we're not in the mouth we're in the head we climbed up the blowhole and now we're searching for knowledge in the brain of the animal. Um, I just think we're seeking shelter because it's actually lunchtime. It's boiling hot here. <laughs> and across the um, the Nan Riverside, there is a temple which is obviously at the start of the Chao Phraya River. It almost looks like a Chinese temple. And what's interesting is there is a statue of a crocodile. And uh, then they have a slide and there's water going. Now, I don't think people slide down that. I think they must buy some sort of ornament or some blessing and then pop it into the slide and it goes into the river. A little bit like Loi Kratong Festival in Thailand in November, but um, must be something significant with that particular type of Buddhism in that particular temple. But um, we're not going to go over there. We're going to head into the town behind now and check out a little bit of the city. Um, the whole town actually kind of feels like it's made of spare parts. It's completely run down. It's not a pretty little place, I have to say. Just driving through it, the whole place looked like somebody had dropped it down the stairs. <laughs> um, so we'll have a little snoop around. I think there's a little temple on a hill somewhere. We'll go see if that's possible. But then we're going to go up to the mountain in the north of the province and um, enjoy sunset. As you can see, I'm sweating buckets. Absolute buckets. pretty part of the town and you can see that mountain in the distance there is a giant temple on the top of that looks beautiful it's called Wat Kiriwong and if Kiriwong rings a bell it's because it's the name of a town in the province of Nakhon Si Tamara I went there with uh, my buddy Sam and uh, it was absolutely beautiful and it's just started to rain but that's okay we'll keep going up to the top I don't know if we're going to be able to drive up there, I hope so. <laughs> and uh, there is an airport just down the road from here, so I don't think we'll be able to fly the drone up there, which is so unfortunate because it looks gorgeous, but maybe we'll get lucky. Rain's getting a little heavier. Quite heavier now. <laughs>
สวัสดีครับครับดีครับเอารถเข้ามาไม่ได้เดี๋ยวมีสาพระรามเสียโอเค um the rain stopped straight away which is great and um it's cleared the air the visibility over in this direction is incredible and just look how flat this area of Thailand is um the few and far between hills and mountains and things they just kind of stick up out of the ground really randomly there aren't no mountain ranges here we're in the flat rice pe rice field plains as they call it this temple is something isn't it look at this behind me here And uh, the highest point of the town, again, just this little hill in the center, and they plopped a beautiful golden temple, just like they seem to do everywhere in Southeast Asia. They find the most difficult-looking, steepest mountain, and say, "That's where we're going to build an epic temple." Poor workers must be like, can't we just build it down by the river where it's really easy to transport the uh, materials and then just build it there? No, no. Must go to the highest point. Must be the most difficult. Actually, I just take back everything I just said because this mountain's in that direction. There's a big old mountain range in that direction. Where's that then? That just must be a random mountain range that popped out of the ground to contradict everything I say. This particular temple is. Completely littered with all types of Buddha statues, every single variation you can think of. You've got the serpent-headed one, the standing one, the lying down, the sitting, and the just every type of Buddha statue. And then they have these really nice gold and white. And this is a great view of the city. And you can see the lake. This seems like a park on the lake. There's a distant golden sitting Buddha that looks gorgeous. And um, I'm trying to see where we were earlier, but I can't see it. Hear the bells ringing in the wind. It's very peaceful, and you've got to be careful when you come up here because every temple in Thailand has these really slippery tiles. They are gorgeous tiles with the Buddhist wheels on, but um, yes, make sure you don't slip and break your ankle. It's a good way to ruin your day. This must be the connection. I'm thinking because Kiri Wong was in Nakhon Si Tamarat, and also in Nakhon Si Tamarat was the Kok Temple. The The temple where there was the story of the lucky boy, and people would come and um, give him a cock, a cockerel statue, and um, wish for good fortune. And here, the, even the staircases are completely covered in cocks. And um, here's a king, one of the old dynasty kings, and he seems to be surrounded by cocks. So, not quite sure of the the the, the meaning there because. It's not the little boy that we saw in Nakhon Si Tamarat. Maybe they're not completely linked. It might be completely different. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you know more about Thai history than I. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I will try to fly the drone, but no promises. And we're actually going to call it a day early on this video, as you can see. And as I mentioned earlier, I was heading towards that distant mountain a little bit further up in the province of Nakhon Sawan in order to climb to the top and reveal the best sunset. However, the climb turned into, well, a very interesting experience to say the very least. And so I think it deserves its own video. So stay tuned for the next episode where we climb this mountain, and uh, it is one not to be missed. Let me just. Put Put it like that, and actually, if you become a channel member or a Patreon, just click the join button to learn more, or click the Patreon link in the description to learn more. Not only do you get really cool perks, and you get to hang out with me twice a month in live streams and quiz nights, but you also unlock all the videos early. So yes, channel members and Patreons can watch that video right now. Otherwise, it will be out in a few days, so no worries. But check it out if you feel like supporting the journey a little bit more. If you can, if you can't, don't worry. It's coming soon, and it's going to be our an adventure <laughs> never to forget. I know I will never forget that climb and everything that happened on the way down. Anyway. 
I really hope you enjoyed the Nakhon Sawan video. One more to come from this province and then we're moving up into more of the center and the northern provinces of Thailand. So stay tuned to the next episode of Next Level Adventures. 